Hey there YouTube, this is Chris Impossible and today I'm going to show you how to sew. This isn't a comprehensive tutorial, this is just to get you from point A to point B. Just sewing two things together, quickest way possible. Uh, just a quick overview, I'm going to be talking about the Brother XL 2600i. Uh, I picked this up off Amazon for about 80 bucks. It has over a thousand reviews, four and a half stars. It's, it's been awesome so far. I haven't used it for anything complex, but it's, it's great. Two things that you'll need to pick up in addition to that are, of course, your thread. Uh, I just picked a cotton general purpose thread. Um, it's a little bit more elastic, I guess, than, any, than other types of thread. Uh, it washes well and it works, it works fine for the purposes, which is uh, sewing labels on t-shirts. I also picked up just a pair of Japanese scissors for, for a thread. It works well. You, you need something like this. Uh, regular scissors aren't going to cut it. No fiskers or anything. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to fill your bobbin with, with thread. And to do that, you'll be operating all the stuff up here. Um, so you'll take your spool pin. It's real simple. Just pop this up. Put your thread on top. Now you want to run this across the uh, thread guide right here. And it goes over the front and then across the back. And then you'll take your, uh, take your bobbin you'll run the thread right up here and then pull it through and you'll want to give it some slack so we'll just go right here put it on here, snap it on and uh, most sewing machines will have a different mode for this because right now it's kind of in like sewing mode if I push the pedal down right now um, it'll actually operate the sewing machine but if I click it over here it'll operate the, uh, the bobbin winder up here so I'll turn on the power and I'll hold this end right now and right now I'm pushing the pedal a little bit you can hear you can probably hear it start working there you go so I started it up you can see that it's got a little bit of thread on it just so that this doesn't get caught you just want to clip it like that now I'll just let the pedal go and wind up the bobbin you know as much as much thread as I need so now that you got your bobbin wound, you'll want to take your thread and bring it across the thread guide here. And to do that, you'll just bring it around the back, like that, simple. And then you'll bring the thread down the front, back up, and then you'll catch it in this metal loop that's inside the machine here. And uh, you know, just in case this loop isn't where you want it to, you can always use the, ma the manual handle on the right to kind of uh, just move it into place wherever you need. And another, just a word of warning as you're, um, as you're doing all this, uh, keep, the, keep the machine off because if you, you know, if you step on the pedal, uh, it might be game over for your fingers. Um, so you just bring the thread down the last time and then this will go directly through to the front of the needle. You wanna go from front to back and just pull, and just pull that needle through. It's fairly, fairly easy, just right there. And give it a little slack. All right, so now you got, now that you have your top thread all set up, you're gonna wanna take the bobbin, and basically, the way I heard it, heard it described to me is you create, on most machines, you create a P with it. That means the thread is going down the left side of the, of the bobbin here. So you take this, you're gonna open up the little compartment here. It's got a little slide mechanism. Pop this open, remove this. You'll take your bobbin that's in a P shape. You'll put it in right here. And then basically there's a little little hook here that you wanna move it, move, move the thread past. And it'll come out the left side over here. It's okay that it has a tail here. You, 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 um, that, that's actually fine. Then you're gonna replace the compartment here. And so that's basically how the sewing machine is going to work. It's going to be the top thread and the bottom thread coming together with the machine and creating an interlocking uh, stitch. All right, so now that you have your upper and lower thread set, what you'll want to do is pull the lower thread up from the bobbin with the upper thread. So to do that, you'll be holding on to here, the upper thread, putting a little tension on it forward, and you'll be operating the hand wheel counterclockwise so that it dips in here and you see it now that it's actually the lower thread has been pulled up by the upper thread and just want to grab that piece here pull it out 
all the way. And you could disentangle them at this point. You can just pull this like this. And what you want to do is take the lower thread down here and just get it out of the presser foot, you know, right here and just move it to the back. That's fine right there. And you'll take the upper thread, you'll put it inside the presser foot right here and then move it to the back as well. So you got two threads back here. You got the lower and the upper thread both moving, moving through the back. All right, so now you're ready to sew. So you're gonna be turning on your machine and we're gonna be sewing, uh, we're gonna be sewing labels on the edge of a t-shirt. So we'll just grab a label, kind of slide it in here. And honestly, the, hard, the hardest part is kind of setting this up so it's nice and flat. It isn't going anywhere. Just take your label, slide it in here. Good. It seems even and what you want to do is actually start a little further from the edge because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sewing in reverse first. So I'm rotating the wheel towards me right now to do this manually, getting it in a good starting position right here. I'm inside the label and the shirt and then I'm, now I'm going to move the presser foot down. So right now, you're gonna be holding on to whatever uh, reverse switch your machine has, and we're gonna be sewing from here to the end. And then we're gonna, and then after that, we're gonna be sewing all the way down, and then backwards again. So it's gonna be reverse, forward, reverse. And what these reverses do is basically uh, lock in your stitch. You're stitching over what you already stitched so that the ends don't come, come uh, apart. All right, so let's sew in reverse first. I'm push, pushing down on the pedal as well as the reverse lever. All right, so we're all the way back here. Now we can go forward. All right, cool. And now for the final reverse. Cool, now you can um, push the presser foot up Pull this out and grab your handy uh, thread scissors or whatever these are called. All right, so that was just to show you that it isn't that hard to do. I hope you'll be working on your own projects. Thanks for watching.